This is it. Tag team action underway here, guys. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. the mark. He's focusing on the face now. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to get Triple H, look at it! Oh no! But is it enough to end it? Triple H, look at it, end it! Nobody does it. And here we go. Triple H with the cover. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Triple H. Now that's a finishing move, people. This is all but over. Well, John Cena's in a real bad spot. Putting it all on the line. Look at this. Oh, Triple H dodged that one. That takes him down to the mat. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score. Here we go. John Cena setting it up. John Cena is going to have to revise his game plan because right now, the one he's using ain't working. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag. I agree. That should do it. He stops the count. Well, folks, watching Triple H here, you can't help but marvel at the career he's put together over the last few decades. He's the only man in the world who can be called the King of Kings, and it's not an exaggeration. Beautiful spin-out powerbomb. Ooh, John Cena may have it. This kind of offense he's known for. Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? Will Triple H even be able to continue? How could you question that John Cena has proved to be on a roll right now? Michael brought up before that Triple H is called the king of... What's he looking to do here? Cena has it locked in. Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? Attacking the shoulder. Giants, Immortals, the Undead, Warriors. Let oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Pedigree. Now he's got it. The shoulders are down. Oh, man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Just needs to do more damage. Corey, something I've observed over the years from this seat is what WWE superstars have learned the hard way. And Triple H is always one pedigree away from victory. Armed with the pedigree, the game has dropped opponents through the announcer's table on thumbtacks and steel chairs, even the steel ring steps. Just check out his match against Brock Lesnar from WrestleMania 29. Got him with the elbow drop. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Randy Orton is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history with few weaknesses. Corey, 
How would you target the Apex? Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Scoop slam! The Rock turns it around. Rock's looking to finish this. Rock bottom! I knew it was only a matter of time. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. Corey brought up Orton's many shoulder injuries. He goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Here goes Triple H. Rock's looking to finish this. Looking to turn it around. He's just playing classic offense here. Can he finish the... He's on a rampage now. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, a shit breaker. Try walking after that one. Over 15 years into his WWE career, there were a few firsts left for Randy Orton and Conker. But he found one when he beat Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. Rock just barely got out of the way. So quick. Yes, Rock bottom. Game, set, match. This one is over. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win, and true to Orton form, it came out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the glorious one at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. And in the process, Orton became only the 10th person in WWE history to become a Grand Slam champion, which requires you hold the tag titles, United States title, Intercontinental title, and a WWE championship. Another apex for the Apex Predator. When this guy's on, look out. Orton looking for something big. Uh-oh. Good night. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Randy Orton looking in this. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's going for it all. Here comes The Rock. And here's Randy Orton showing why he's a master manipulator. Randy better not lose focus on what matters, and that's winning this match. Three. And he's heading back in. Oh boy, he is rolling. The Rock has been busted wide open. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. He's making a statement here with this attack. What does Randy Orton need to do now? This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag. Turn on a nowhere. That has got to be it. He's going for the pin. Surprises him with that drop kick. For an encore here. Triple H makes the tag. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Triple H. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Uh -oh. At the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. Submission time. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, and crashing back down. Forgiving slam. This has.
has been a war. Twice as nice. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Back between the ropes. Second time we're seeing this here. He's making a statement here with this attack. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Right, he's got him here. He's got him. How impressive was that? Just sending your foe crashing to the canvas. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Vertical suplex. Nice. Whoa. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Wow, what a slam. Two, three, I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. The frequency of this move is becoming deliberate at this point, to say the least. If I was Triple H, I'd tone down the showboating a little bit. Six. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Pedigree! Here's his moment, my other cover for the win! One, two, three! They did it! Wow! What a match! These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. And there's your winner, the pitfall. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. Listen to this Detroit crowd. I think they're already ready for the rematch.